Ah, well, hello, welcome, and good afternoon, good morning, or welcome to the replay, whatever it might be. Uh, we are using a whole different new type of uh, streaming. We hope it works for both Facebook, YouTube. Kenny's out there checking that while we do this live. I'm not sure if we're going to even see comments or not. I hear myself, so I think it might be working. Who knows? Um, we okay, are. It's we oh, it's working. Fabulous. You just may not see comments. That's we amazing. probably will not see comments. Maybe we can um, get a, an iPad in here or something. We'll see. We'll do, or we'll just pop out there and try to. <coughs> excuse me. Do a couple things. As you can see behind me, the big logo jet machine. Yes, we are going to show you how this baby works. Why we do a project that he's been wanting to do. Um, and we'll do that. He's just double checking everything. Make sure it is all good to go, both Facebook and YouTube. Um, welcome, 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 everybody that's here. Um, I'm going to flip the camera so we can Wait, see. Just a sec. It's not, I don't know where it's going live to. You don't know where it's going live to? No. Oh, my. Well, we were hoping it's going live somewhere. Oh, I think I need to go live now. So go ahead and stop. Just tell YouTube people hello. Okay, you hello YouTube. What am I live on? So what am I doing? Nothing. You. Okay. I, I have to hit live on Facebook. So give me one sec. Oh, well there you go. We have to do it strictly to Facebook. I hope okay. we. How do we look? Do we look good? Be live now on Facebook too. So start your live over. Again. Hello, Facebook people. Um, YouTube has already joined us. I guess we have a little technical difficulty. This is a new streaming platform that we can use our phone so we can be in here and be able to show you the stuff that we do in here. I'm hoping our picture looks good. I hope you can hear us fine. Look, the meter tells me it sounds like you should hear me fine. Um, you can see behind us, we're gonna be using the logo jet. We're also gonna be using the Glowforge as well. Um, so we're gonna have lots of fun. Uh, Kenny's here with us and we'll kind of walk you through what we're doing and so you can kind of see what, uh, what kind of project we're doing. It's a lot of fun. He's already got a couple done so you can at least get an idea. I am going to flip the camera here. Pala. And then what I'll do there is, is pull up both YouTube and Facebook so we can refer back to comments. So yes. let people know we have to go back to comments and look at yes. them. We won't be able to see them. We can't see it all the time. So, ooh, boy, that, boy, that changes all kinds of stuff. So you can see there's a whole bunch of stuff that we've made with our Glyphorgia already. Okay, so, so here, just this. so you know, here's your two things. Uh -huh. So we can go back and forth to oh, comments, cool. okay? Just in case. All right. I'll let okay. you kind of run that too as well. All right, you guys. So hopefully the lighting's okay. Yeah, I wanted to show you guys the logo jet. Of course, a um, couple things. Uh, if you missed my come from the car two days ago, it's posted. Sorry, I have lunch on my face. <laughs> um, and uh, all the links on YouTube are down below. On Facebook, I bid some of the links. But uh, for those of you who don't know, I spent a 28 days in patient treatment. Um, to deal with an addiction I had and to get clean and I did explain that in my camp from the car But while we're in treatment, we get these times that are called sober activities Which basically lets you to do a sober activity and you guys know me. I'm an art person so they had canvases there and I painted the canvas with the paint they had they had glitter paint and then I did some patterns using paper towels and stuff like that um and i wanted to do uh let's see here looks and sounds great all good that is good just wanted to check check on comments make sure perfect okay i think we are good shawnee so all right so right when i left i did everything in treatment so basically i did all of this you know did this out of cardboard and stuff but I wanted to do the characters. So when I got out, I wanted to design. So I designed the SVG files and did this. So that was our test run. And then Sean, I wanted to show him what we were doing. So we just did discuss. If you haven't seen it, Sierra, come here. If you haven't seen this movie, come here. Get your ball. Fine. Sorry, guys. You gotta love dogs. Um, if you haven't seen this movie, it's one of my favorite movies. It's all about emotions and sharing your emotions. So we're gonna show you how we create these. Now, um, while I get over here and get to the computer, um, if you're asking what a UV printer is, a UV printer essentially is a printer that uses UV ink and it sets the ink instantly. So you can print on a wide variety of stuff. We've printed on acrylic, wood, 
tumblers, glass, foam, um, pins, golf balls, keychains, poker chips, um, little golf tees. So the possibilities are endless and we got this to eventually do custom products for you guys. So tumblers, stuff like this. You can see I did one of Melody um, as a um, tribute. Um, so we're still getting used to it, but I think I have it dialed in. So I think what we're gonna do is start with Joy. Um, if you guys have questions, definitely let us know. Um, we are, hopefully, Sean can, I can go to questions or scroll back and look at questions. So if we're not getting your questions, just bear with us because we are using a new streaming software. Um, so we'll get to the questions too. But I'm gonna run through the first one, which is Joy. So here's how this whole process works. I have cut out a piece of clear acrylic on my Glowforge. You can see the backing here. And I painted it, or we spray painted it white. We did this because we didn't have white acrylic. We could have printed with a white base and then printed something on top of that. Um, but it's easier if I just print it white because it has an auto height, which I'll explain to you in a second. Um, so the first thing we want to do is print a template so we know where the printer is going to print. So here's the template for Discuss, but I want to do one now for, uh, I want to do one now for Joy. So I'm going to go to my computer, Sean can move around here, and we're going to go New, and I'm just going to do a color only print. and. The reason we're doing a color only print is we just want it to be in black. It's just a square. Now I already have my template here so I can add this to my uh, space that is gonna end up going. This is where the actual, where it's gonna print. Now I already have my settings here, which I think Joy is this one here. And I do it in millimeters. So we use a, a tape measure and do it in millimeters. But basically, I'm gonna walk you through. So first thing is, is I need to say what the width is. So the width of this is going to be in millimeters, 78.175. And then the width is 120, this can't be right. Oh no, the height, sorry. I was like, that doesn't sound right. All right, so we've set that, but we also need to come down here and set some things. Now offset, all offset means is if we were doing multiple ones, it would give us an offset of how big the square is. So we don't want the square to be just perfect, we want a little bit of an offset. We're gonna use the same measurements for width down here, so this is gonna be 78.175, and then 125.175. Now here, the gap, this is important, the gap actually gives us a gap around it. So if we were doing multiple ones, it would give us that gap around it and be protected. So, and we'll explain a little bit more on that. And then down here, we have repeat. So if I wanted to do a bunch of these, I could go five by five and see where I have that gap now. So the gap is where you can get your fingers in there and pop the thing off. But in our case, we're just gonna do one, just like that. And all I have to do is hit OK. We're going to see the square template. Now this here is an extra large mat. Sean will explain the mat here mm -hmm. in a sec. So and there, have you already auto hided it? Um, it should stay the same, but you should still do it once you put the thing on it. All right, so first let's do the auto height here. This, this is a sticky point. mat. This is what we're going to put our template on. This has an auto height. There's two little sensors here that knows the height of the product you're going to put on here. If your product is in between there and you hit auto height, it automatically adjusts and now I can turn that off. And now all I have to do is come over to print and hit print layout and it's gonna say, are you ready to print? I'll hit okay and Sean can show the print layout. So the, uh, while you're doing that, I'm going to see if we have any questions yeah. here on Facebook. So this bed is 18 inches by 24 inches. So that's how big we could actually print something on here. And excuse that this thing goes bright and dark. It just, it, it's trying to stay uh, uh, within tolerances. So this is a big giant black machine. So right now, you can use a mat that's sticky and this will hold acrylic and stuff. 
but like let's say if you were using foam board or if you were using something light it actually has a fan that will suction yes. down items to where it doesn't move um so that's what this is now this machine is pretty expensive it's about thirty nine thousand dollars and we bought it obviously to show you guys but to also expand our business to make um custom things soon um set myself on tiktok and you guys know me i we have the glow forge we started with cricket we started with silhouettes and it's all about expanding and making our business bigger and better um we've had it since actually october but I'll be honest, from October until March when I went into recovery, I was pretty much out of service. I was not here presently. So anyways, so there is our little template. We are ready to go now. Now we can add our file. Now I have created these files. I went in and created them in Adobe Illustrator um, and they've been cut and sized and everything. So I've created a UV file, which is what's being printed. It's a high quality file. Then I've created an offset file because we want to cut this in our Glowforge. So let me show you how to do that. So here is our template. I'm going to actually go uh, back home and go to print, um, lay, or excuse me, layout. And this time we're going to do new and I'm going to do a high quality color only. Now there's white and color. So what that means is if we were printing on something per se that's a, for example, this. This was a piece of brown wood. When I printed it, I said, don't print with a white base. And you can see the natural wood comes through wherever there would have been white. We can say white and color where it will put a full layer of white first, set it, then color and set it. So where this natural wood would have been would be white. Um, the reason I didn't do that is because this is on clear acrylic and then you have to do an auto adjustment on the height and I like the auto height, so that's why. All right, so we have a new project here. I need to bring in my file. So I'm gonna bring in my artwork and I'm gonna go choose my artwork, which is Joy. And here's the UV file. And I'm just gonna double click that. It's gonna bring it in and say, this is the file you're gonna bring, which it is. So I can go back to my layout. So here's my layout. And on my Joy file now over here in this column, I can just right click and add multiple copies. Now it's going to bring it in automatically to what I had. Um, and we can resize this if we want to, to make it smaller. Cause right now it's going to automatically fit it to that, which I've already done the measurement. So I'm just going to hit okay. And as you can see, there's little joy. She is set. So we have it ready to go, but we need to put in our acrylic. So I have the back and it tells me which way is up just in case, you know, all that good jazz. And I just want to put it in this template. So right in between here. So that's the reason you're giving kind of an offset just to protect yourself here. You just want it to be in there and I'm going to push it down. This is a sticky map. This is a sticky map. Now, here's where you can adjust it. So this has an auto height adjust where these sensors here can adjust to whatever the thickness is here and it does it automatically. Now we were using clear acrylic. So the reason I painted this white is if you're using clear acrylic, you have to do your own manual adjustment by bringing the ink out and doing that. I like it to where I can do this because now I can just bring the beginning of this in between those sensors. So the sensor is right here. And now all I have to do is hit auto height. And once I hit that, you'll see what will happen over here. And what we did is that I painted the sides of this piece of clear acrylic. If not, the laser beam would go all the way through it and wouldn't even notice that it was even there. So I painted it so the laser can bounce off of it. Yeah, and now the reason I'm doing this, I don't really need to do this with acrylic because it's pretty flat. But if we had a piece of wood that was uneven, let's say the wood Kind of had different things you want to make sure you go all the way down because you want the ink to go to the highest point but in this case we don't have to worry about that so i'm just going to hit auto height again once auto height's done we're good to go you don't need to do anything the computer knows to uh, push this uh, where it needs to go so all i have to do once again is go up to my print print layout and hit okay now what this is going to do is it's going to adjust 
but it's going to put down a layer of UV ink. UV ink, until it is set, is very wet, so if you do not set it, it's gonna smear, it's gonna get everywhere. But what's nice is we have a UV light on this that's on, you'll see it, it's a purple light, and it's going to instantly set that ink. Thank you for watching everyone on Facebook. We're at 76 on Facebook, Mr. Sean. Nice. On YouTube, we're at 30. And we know that we will get more and more as we do more live. Because we're back. It's good to be back. So here it is. It is printing Miss Joy and setting this right away. So if you see that purple light, that's setting that ink instantly. And, and it actually does it on both passes, backwards and forwards. bring out my thing here just a little bit even though I don't need to really um and let me just show you what this looks like now this mat if you got more ink on it that uv ink no big deal um it will just wash right mm -hmm. off but this is set so it's not coming off I think I'll find a reason check that a what it it goes like really bleachy white. I oh think no. It's, it's, I think there might be a setting I can turn that off. So I'm going to go ahead and bring on my Glowforge and I'm just going to pop this in the middle. I'm going to try to get it as straight as possible, but I'm not going to worry too much about it. And I'm going to close this, let my Glowforge turn on and go through its thing. And we're going to go into my Glowforge, which is already here. You can see, and I'm going to go back to a new setting. Now, Technically, we could have cut this first and then had it print, but the print, if you're not off, if you're not straight perfectly, the print would be off. So in my opinion, it's easier to print than cut. Now, um, you could use Glowforge to trace that and not create an SVG file, but for me, it's just easier to create an SVG offset file and stuff like that. So while it's doing its thing, I'm gonna go ahead and go to new design. And I'm just going to go ahead and preset this to medium acrylic because that's what we're using. Now, the nice thing on the Glowforge is it has these materials already pre-programmed in. So it knows the pressure. It knows the speed. It knows the force. I guess it's not pressure. It's no, it's how much power. And power, how much yeah. Um, while it is centering, I'm going to go ahead and bring in my SVG. So I'm going to upload right here. And I'm going to go to the Joy file. And here is my Joy Glowforge file I created. Now we normally use an Apple computer. Um, so the reason we're using this is the LogoJet only works with Windows. Windows. So we've had to uh, make that adjustment. The program is written in uh, from India and people in India are not fans of Apple. <laughs> That's why. Yeah. It's called a Cathari uh, program. All right, so it's taking a picture of Joy. You can see it there. And right now it's set to engrave. So I wanna change that to a cut. And here's my SVG file. Now at this point, it's just a process of lining it up. So I can come up here to my zoom in and zoom out and get real close so I can see little Joy and I can line up my SVG. So now we're gonna line this up and my SVG, if it's a little off, that is where a little bit of the finicky can come in. Now you can see um, our joy printed a little bit off, which is not a big deal. The Glowforge will still cut it down there. It's just gonna hit the crumb tray um, and that's okay. Um, and we can finick it with it. Now, like I said, if you wanted to, you could trace the bed. Um, I won't go into too much detail, but to trace a bed, you just go trace. And then, oops, I gotta put a square around what I wanna trace. So you put a square around the item that you're gonna trace, 
And just like any other file, it's gonna bring it up and then you get rid of the areas you do, don't want and it's gonna create an offset. For me, it's easier to just do the SVG file um, it's quicker and so the more I do of these like if I was to start selling these I would it would be quicker so here you can also rotate if your graphic wasn't in there just right um, you can zoom in pretty far to see if you are lined up so if you uh, want to get really really picky you can you can go in here and slightly move it everywhere you want it to be um, so like I could go just right there and then I can get my little hand tool and make sure. So that looks pretty good. So I'm ready to go. I'm going to hit print. When it is ready to print, it's gonna tell us how long it's gonna take on acrylic. Acrylic's pretty quick to cut. It will give us, it's usually under a minute, so we have 33 seconds. Your little light over here is gonna be flashing, saying you are good to go. So we're gonna hit that. it outside so this goes outside we have cardboard up there because um it makes it almost too bright yeah. it makes it too bright so here we are and this will just fall right out so here is our little our little joy girl and i'm gonna turn off the glow forge i'll make it a little quiet in here and now we can complete the project so i'm gonna take off this backing and this is all of the Glowforge product has backing on the front and back um, to protect it and just like that. And now I can put this together. So these are the parts I made in treatment. So I want to kind of get an idea of where I want to place Joy because I want this to be kind of in the center. So probably right, right about there. And then so I'm just going to make a nice little mark of where I want her to go and then I really like these blue dots these are from iCraft or Deco Thermal Web these are the actual craft ones and they are domed aren't they they're domed so they give it a nice little lift now these are super 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 when I say super strong super strong like they are. that's what they did to my table when they got on there, they ripped up and the this, finish. This is powder coated. Yeah. So. Or something like that. Yep. Yeah. So I can put her now. Got a little bit of powder coating on there. That's weird. From here, it's flaking off. So I'm gonna go ahead and put her right here. It's not setting, Sean. That's not good. And then that's going to end up going right there. We're just going to put some more some stickies on here. I'm going to put this out of the way. And I'm going to see why that's not. I wonder if it's because of the, oh, you know what it is? Hmm. We didn't put our thing on there. What's that? When you put on acrylic, remember we're supposed to put that buffing compound? So did that come off? Mm-hmm. So it adheres better. And what I'm talking about, Sean can grab it. It is down there, the logo jet. And what does that do, Sean? So this helps um, on things like glass and acrylic, acrylic and whatnot. Even on some of the uh, cups that we've done, it gives it a very good clean, gets everything off of it. So 
So and, the and actually puts here it, is better. Yeah, it hears a lot better. So that's our fault. But look at that. Isn't that cute? So we have Joy. And then she's going to go in the middle. Anger. I have uh, sadness that's going to go over here. I've already finished disgust. And then we have fear. So I'm going to run through another one. But I'm going to let Sean look at both comments here. You got that? Yeah. All right. So cool. This is cool. Yes, she is cute. She wants me to make so much movie, I know. This machine looks like the bomb it does. So here's a few things we've made. That is a picture directly from Melody that we used on acrylic. Here's tumblers that we can do on both sides. This is really cool because you have um, your, uh, it can do it on glass, which is awesome. And I love that. Um, let's see here. This streaming program, you guys will have to tell us if you like. We just need to figure out how to do comments on here. Maybe that's a premium feature. So this is glass. This is kind of what I was talking about where on the background, it did white, mm -hmm. a layer of white, and then it printed. So this one, they printed the dog photo first and then a layer of white and set it. And this is really cool. I'll let Sean hold the camera um, and turn off some lights here. And what I like about this, I'm gonna turn this way down, is when you put this up now to a light source, it almost illuminates. Isn't that cool? Here, let me. There you go. Yeah, so there's a light source and it did it. Isn't that so cool? I love it. All right, let me put this back. Any questions, Shawnee? Nope. Everybody's just saying how cute this looks. So cool. All right, let's go ahead and do another one. I'll do sadness for you guys. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and have Sean, you wanna just kinda show him the machine really quick? And yeah, let me just show you, show you the machine. This machine was too big, as you can see. Here's my arm, right? <laughs> it goes all the way back there. So we could not put it through that door. I had to take this window completely out just to pass through this. Mm -hmm. uh, even our slider door, which is a small version of a slider door, would not even fit through that either. So we had to do the window to get this in there. It takes a couple people to lift this up. It even has built-in handles. It is portable. If I need to move this, I can still do that. Um, if you look up here, these are the different color of inks. Oops, sorry. I'm really gonna see if there's a way to change that. It's so bright, I'm sorry. So the, you've got cyan, magenta, yellow, black, two whites, a clear, two types of clear. So you can actually put a clear coat on those and you can even put enough on there where it actually I raises this, up. But, right. um, I wanted to have you show the adhesion promoter. Sure. Am I doing that? Sure. Um, Here, I can hold it. I can hold that. I don't want to do it. Okay, so this is the adhesion promoter. So if you're going... Well, if there's paint on there, then it, you can't do that. Or can you? I thought it was only for clear, clear material. I don't know if you could do that with, with already with paint. Glass, ceramic, acrylic, rubber, or matte supply. Heat after application may improve adhesion. I thought you could. I mean, we can see what happens. I don't know. Just test Try. it in a little corner. Yeah, let's test it in a little corner. We're going to test it. You could be right. Maybe it is... I need a... Maybe you're right, Shawnee. I guess we're going to see, you guys. This is how we do it. Boy, that's not strong. That's wet. I need to dry. So here's our studio, if you guys haven't seen it. Here's all of our machines. So this is what's called the machine room. I'll show you this while he's testing that. This is where Jazzy does a lot of her reels, and we do a lot of our stuff. So up there we have... Our camera mounts, we have our studio lights. Yeah, it took the paint right off. Okay, so then it must be just, that's okay. I can make sure I'm careful because it, it, the reason it came off, guys, just so you know, is there is this here still is sticky from those glue docks and it just took it right off. So um, we have a mat for that. I'm going to give this back to you while you kind of show them the machine again. I'm going to get the mat up here so we are a little bit more protected. Yeah. So like we were saying, this is powered by... Uh... PC computer, not an Apple, so we kind of had to get used to 
<coughs> a PC again because it's been a while. Now the the nice thing about uh, Glowforge, you can run on either one. You can run on Apple or PC, it doesn't matter. And apps. And apps, which makes it. So what's really cool too is that I can even, so you've got all the colors. These pillows are like $98, but this ink, if you were to print every single day, should last you almost six months. So they're not that really that bad. I can, once we're done, we can close it. Or if you want to make it a little quieter while you're printing off, it makes it a little quieter. It's got the big old logo jet on there. They have one just called the 40, and then they did this one. It's, it's bigger, and the other nice thing, other than doing 18 by 24 in the bed size, this thing also goes down to almost five inches. So I can put something almost five inches in height in here too, and you can print on that. It has to be basically flat, round, but it, you can't print concave, which is where it's high, yeah. in the, high in the sides. Dip in the middle because the way the ink shoots down into it, it's too far away. Okay. So I'm going to go and go through the steps you can explain, or do you want me to explain? No, go ahead. What? Because you know what you're doing. Okay. You so we're doing economy. Uh, economy, high quality rotary. So economy just means it's not going to use as much ink. It is a lower quality graphic. So we're just doing a template. So I'm doing economy, and I'm just doing color only because we're doing a template. So here's our sticky mat. This is what to think of as the sticky mat. And I want to add, once again, a square template. So I can just, since my square template I've already loaded, I can just add it into my program and that's where this comes up. Now, all we're doing here is creating what that template is. And I already have written down everything in millimeters. Why do we do millimeters? Millimeters shown? is a little more accurate than inches. Um, it's hard to sit there because you would have to sit there and figure out the decimal version of a fraction where here with millimeters you don't have to do that now it does say 1.75 or 0.175 on this this is the extra little bit you need so it goes a hair over the edge well and the basically the reason why you guys on that is we're adding essentially a quarter of an inch because you want your template to be inside the square not on the square right. so that's what that's yeah. for so we already have our F set from before. We just need to put in these numbers again. So 98.175 millimeters. My height is 108.175 millimeters. Now the gap is what the gap is around your square. So we want it, the gap doesn't matter as much here because the gap, what the gap is for is if I was to fill this here, actually let me show you. So if I was to put a zero in my gap, and we were gonna do a hundred of these by a hundred. See, there's no gap, it's combined them all together. So by telling it, we want at least a little bit of a gap there. If I do now add my gap, and normally you would add about an inch. So in millimeters, I'm just adding that. See how it's giving me a gap so you can get your fingers in there or tools to pop it off and not uh, run into each other but because we're only doing one the gap isn't as important but I still because of habit do it so there is our thing we can hit ok it's gonna put it on our sticky mat and then we can print now once again this is just printing the uh, outline. outline so that's the fourth time you've hit that line it's so it's low that's why. all right is it too bright okay. no it's not right okay all right let's go ahead and print the template As you can see, the templates are already on there from the other ones. And you can just keep doing this, especially when they're all just different sizes. You just need to know which one's which. which the, it's going to be a different size, obviously. And excuse me for the high exposure. The bottom will always be the same because it, goes, it always sets at the same point. And as you can see, that line there is the new one, so we know that's where the outer edge will be in that corner. Once you get, as long as it's sitting there, it's fine. And the cool thing about this mat, the way this mat, this silicone sticky mat is that all I have to do is use running water. Do you change out the ink regularly, or how do you know? Um, once the ink is empty, it will probably tell me, or it will it'll actually have none of it. You just buy another pillow of ink, unplug it, you just pull it out. 
Um, you just pull it out because, and put it in. Why don't you explain to them while it's doing this um, what the maintenance is? Because that's how you yeah. would also know that there is ink. So maintenance on this is, let's see. Every time before you start anything, you always want to make sure your uh, print heads are all good to go. And these are some of the high quality print heads. And that's the nice thing about the upgrade of this machine is, is that it's got the really high quality print heads. So I run a test basically and it, it prints all the colors plus the clears. And it shows me a, a, this pattern of very fine lines, blocks and everything. If any of it looks wrong, usually the colors are very good. The white, because the, the type of white, what it's made out of, you have to shake it every time you use it because the UV liquid, the stuff that makes it harden, and the color don't mix well, so you have to mix them all wet. They do fine with all the other colors, not a problem, but the white, I have to sit there and shake them and clean. Then I do the test, I look at it, if it's been sitting around and haven't, hasn't been used or whatever, it'll show me a bad pattern. So it tells me uh, then what I can do, and I'll show you. Here, I have head cleaning, and what it'll do is that it'll shoot a little uh, paint through the heads, suck it up, and put it in a disposable tube, which is in the back. Do that a couple times, and then I do the uh, nozzle check. That does the print for me, little test print, and then I know exactly if everything's good. If the white looks all perfect, we're good to go. And I have to, you have to do that on a daily. Weekly, mostly, is... You clean things up, you clean all, uh, you'll clean up all kinds of things in here, just make sure everything's done. You clean these, this thing has a cap or what it does, it comes up, seals the uh, head so it doesn't dry out or anything. And uh, you just clean everything down with uh, 91 or higher alcohol uh, to clean this because of the type of ink it is. You need that um, high strength or high percentage of alcohol because of that. Um, once it's always clean, once you as long as you keep it clean all the time, this thing should just print over and over again, no matter what you're doing. When we do cups, we have a thing down below. I'll turn my camera around right here. It's underneath there. You can you can kind of see it. That's part of it right there, and there's the other end. You just slide this up here, and as the table uh, moves in and out, it rotates. It rotates your uh, tumbler, and that's how you can print uh, and do what you saw here. That's how you print these as it rotates. And you can do two tumblers at a time. And if you're doing two tumblers at a time, if you're just doing the same one over and over again, you can do like 24 in an hour. So that's what's really cool. So he's uh, presetting everything here. He's just gonna bring it out and we're, once he does that, we're gonna auto hide it and make sure it is, and it should be about the same. It shouldn't move hardly anything. Anyway. And once it's good, it's good to go. And then of course we all know sadness right there. And what it does over here, it shoots a little ink over here before it starts. That's why there's ink over here. And this is wet ink. I can actually put my finger on there and it's wet. It does not dry. If you had sunshine coming in here, that stuff would harden. All right, off it goes. See, there's the uh, capper heads right over there. So once that goes over there, that thing actually raises up and puts a more of a rubber, so it seals it. Literally, the rubber seals up all around the heads. You can print on cloth, but you can't print it on something you're going to wear. UV ink is not good for the body. Even once it is dry, you can't do it. Um, can't wear it. Uh, we hear that LogoJet is trying to come out with a, a direct to garment DTG printer, and we'd love to have it once they have one out. Now, if you're gonna print on something like a piece of canvas that you're gonna just use as a pillow, or a piece of canvas as a picture, absolutely you can, not a problem. If it's that kind of cloth or whatever, but if it's something you wear, uh, no, you can't do that because it will irritate your skin.
Okay, I'm gonna, oh, so as cool. this is gearing up, I'll let Sean get a close up of that. So look at that, dry everything, it won't come off, it's great. Isn't that awesome? Look at the detail. Fantastic. So we're gonna go ahead and go into our glow forge. It is doing its centering thing, so I'm gonna let it finish before I open it. Yeah, it's got to do this every time you shut it off. We probably Where'd your could, ball go? We could have probably kept it on. Where'd the ball go? It's not too noisy. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put little Miss Sadness in here. And we're going to do it... straight as possible. And while it's scanning it, I'm just going to bring in her SVG file that I created. So we'll go into... Sadness and her Glowforge files there. So uploading it into the software. And I already have it set to medium acrylic. So now I can zoom in and play around with it. Now, I didn't put her in this straight as possible and you can see that with this. So I could either open it and move stuff around or I could slightly move the file around by rotating it. Whatever you prefer. Hunter? What are you doing under there, buddy? Oh, geez. This is what we have to deal with with this puppy that does not listen. He's actually trying to get underneath this table. Hunter, you better not touch any of that stuff back there and make our Wi-Fi go by. Bye-bye. Uh, he is a bad puppy. All right, so I think that's pretty... Could probably move it around a little bit. What do you think, Sean? It looks really good. I think does the arrows and the control button or this is never gonna make you do micro hits, micro movements? Mm-mm. Well maybe, I don't know. Yeah. That looks good. Yep. Looks so good. we're gonna hit print. It's gonna load. Hunter, do not unplug that Wi-Fi. You wanna show him what he's doing? This is what we have to deal with. He doesn't listen. Hey. Hunter, do not Hunter. Hunter babies. Hunter, do not touch that Wi-Fi. He is such a dick. That's our fiber, fiber optic Wi-Fi. And he's back there. So yeah. if we automatically go out of Wi-Fi, that's his fault. Yeah. Okay, are we ready? I think we're ready. I see a. Now we may have, you may have lost this because I wonder if there's all that metal under there. So sorry if you that. This is like about 30 seconds is all it was. This is safety, uh, laser safety glass. That's why it's okay to look at it. And done. I love the smell of acrylic, I'll be honest. Yeah, it's like having your nails done. Mm-hmm. All right, we'll finish this up, and then Mr. Sean has to get going. Yeah, I gotta leave in a little bit. Yeah, what time is it? And is Friday's it? is yeah. his uh, late start, so that's why normally we would have started our live a little earlier, oh, yeah. but he is late starts on I think Friday. We'll try our lives a little maybe on a Tuesday, Thursday or something. Maybe, we'll see. All right. So we're gonna paste, figure out where we want a little sadiness. So I want that right. That's actually pretty. No. Come here. You may have to move some stuff so we can come out of there. Well, he made his choice. All right, so let's go ahead and get some stickies on there. These are pretty cool, I like these stickies. Yeah, they're easy and they're very, um, uh, permanent. I like them. Very nice. Line her up where I wanted it. So right about. Um. And now I can just add stickies here. This is what I had going while I was in treatment because I didn't have. They don't give you a lot of things to work with. No, you are. Sean caught a gun. See me. I think. Times. Four, no, three times, three times. and uh, which was very nice. Yeah. Um, but it's only for an hour. No phone, no access to the outside, 
And you guys, at first I was freaking out, and then I was like, this is kind of pure bliss. Because I was always so connected, and I think Sean saw a difference after oh, yeah. maybe the first visit. Oh yeah, you can see a big difference. Oops. I have a lot to share. He took photos of my intake, me going in. Um, he'd been looking at the center for a couple months, actually. But I wasn't ready until I was ready. All right. Would you shut up over there? We're working He's there. Such... We're live. You guys, that's living with the hunt. All right. There's Little Miss Sadness. What do you think? I love it. So we're, <laughs> there he comes. You gonna come out now? He's such a turd. Such so we got joy, we got anger, gotta love the anger, got sadness, disgust. So we still have one more fear, but we're gonna record that later. Yeah. And share it on our reels. So make sure you're sharing our reels. And then when these are all done, I'll take a photo, but I am loving how they are turning out. They are so cool. What do you think? You I like? I absolutely love this. Yes. What a great project. Project. It's funny, some of the paint that I used in this, that really bright under uh, LED blue, it glows. It's so cool. So there it is. Makes me want to go watch the movie, yes. Yes. Uh, let's see here. Can you do it on fabric? Um, yeah, okay, we'll man. talk a little bit about that and stuff, but... All right, guys, thank you so much. Here's today's shirt. I'll post it on my story. It's Avengers. Captain American, I guess. Mine is. Sean Star Wars. Star Wars. Um, we've been getting a lot of questions on where to get these links. It's a company called Roosevelt. R-S-V-L-T-S. -S. It's right. It's backwards, but it's yeah. right there. Um, and if you use my link down below, you'll get $20 off. And if you're a veteran, you get 25% mm -hmm. off. And we have probably spent $1,000 there. But they're high-quality shirts. They're yeah. nice. Do not iron them, whatever yeah. you do. It will did you ruin them. a shirt? I did. I did at the very bottom. Didn't Which one? Uh, I think the one you probably won't wear. The, uh, if it's my monster one, it. no, I will kill nope, you. No, no, no. All right. Yeah, don't iron it. <laughs> Just put it in a dryer with some heat. That's like yes. It. All right, guys. Lots of love. We will see you next week during some lives. Thanks for joining. Thanks for welcoming me back. Glad I'm so back. glad to be back um, and be back to myself. And we will see you guys yeah. in the next live. Bye. Bye, everybody.